But I think if I honestly, think if, if I was Kirby six, kid, I was six master. I would camp Kirby Kid as hard as possible. I think if <laughs> I don't Kirby want to do it has a strong start, then yeah, we could see some defensive play style from uh, the six master. But that's only if Kirby Kid has a really strong start. Uh, I just think like there's. I don't know, how does K. Roll really approach Pac-Man? I mean, like, all the projectiles are out. He just seems so slow on the ground. I don't know. We're gonna find out, though. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'm fine with either of these guys winning. They're both uh, playing really well. Let's see, who else is still in the bracket while we're waiting for this to start? Ooh, Mariquas, all right. Possible Palutena. Uh, Ant is still in. He's rocking Hero. Is that Ant the villager player? Because I see Ant playing Hero. I know he play Hero. Let's find out. Uh, I don't... This might be a different Ant. Yeah. Probably different Ant. I saw the name, and I don't think that's Ant's name. Uh, let's see, Chunky Kong, so we've got some Donkey Kong action. Melon Rick, I believe that's a hero. Oh, it was two heroes, but this hero got eliminated by Sulky's Mario slash Captain Falcon. No, 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 Alright, here we go. Winners, finals, K Rule, and Pac Man. Never thought I'd see the day for MSO. Yeah. Like, the only time I would ever expect this is if we had T and Ido in our bracket. And even then, yeah. it was a long shot. About one MSM, though, when uh, Ben Gold beat Kami Mei with K Rule. Off stream. 2 0. Damn, what a day. It's so good though for the uh, Kirby Kid. Oh, nice, nice tech. Oh, M using some of that fruit tech, throwing the bell through the level. Yeah, but Kirby Kid is ready for it, though. He was not uh, surprised by that bell trick at all. Oh, the cannonball stops the app. It's good to know. Yeah, it's just super nice. I think it stops right? the other projectiles, too. It should, as long as the projectile is in translucent. Like Wolf's Blaster. Chucking the key, the key's gone. Wow, and connecting the down air. Kirby Kid taking the first stock of the game. Six Master. Putting in pressure, even throwing the hydrant. Oh, but using the armor from the Nair to to clank with the projectile of the bell, that's very smart from Kirby Kid. Wow, if that slow rolling hydrant took the stock, that would have been kind of unfortunate yeah. for the Kirby Kid. Dude, Kirby Kid is. Alright, finally he's gonna get, die to like an untickable stage spike, but he's living so long. Like, to stuff that every other character just dies to. I didn't know K Roll is this heavy. In spite of that, though, uh, Six Master. Brought this back super heavily. That's right. Wow, so the cannonball does a good job of dealing with the Hydra too. It doesn't destroy it in one hit, but like, it makes it so whatever the next hit is, it goes away. So he throws like the cannonball and like the, the crown, that's... That's like three projectiles Pac-Man has to worry about. Oh! 
Oh, the neutral get up gets covered, but he goes for a hydrant instead of a, like a smash attack when you stun there. Oh, yeah, probably not expecting the the bells to actually connect, but there's the ground in the up smash. Great I don't, think he got the, I don't think he got the sweet spot on that up smash, actually. Oh, there it is again. The cannonball does not care about the hydrant. That's actually super good for K. Roll. Falling with an air. A lot of shield pressure coming, getting put on the curb. Oh, the what? Aerial. Oh, he died. That was actually such a smart up air. Can you believe that? Actually, I can because we've seen Kirby Kid already utilize aerials to clank with projectiles in this in this game. He did it earlier with uh, the bell. He threw out an air and clanked with the bell. Yeah, that, that makes sense with the armor, but like the upper, oh, that was just really smart. I I couldn't have thought of doing such a thing. See, that's, oh. that's that tech where you down air the Pikmin. Yeah, it's true. Oh, oh wow. man, the lingering hitbox of F Smash got him through that. Nice. Scooped Back up. off stage again. Comparing the one hit. Oh, the crown. Winning. Oh, covers the air dodge. Okay, where are you gonna go to recover here? He's gonna interrupt it? Oh, barely. Oh it's my god, the armor from the F tilt. Okay, can we get one for another edge guard here? Nice timing. Completely vulnerable when he did that recovery option. Just seeing that he was open for that four-air connect. Really good stuff. That was a very close first game. But Curry Kid, man, he's just making it work with the K roll, dude. Nice. Yep. Game one going to Kirby Kid. Very K rule fashion. We've seen him take a lot of stocks with those like short hop forward airs. This time it was just a runoff forward air. Those drop kicks. Yeah, he's gotten at least four stocks this tournament, like on stream with forward air. Who's underrated? It seems like it's pretty damn strong. So this was the first stage, right? They played on Smash Bowl game one. Yeah. Okay, gonna run it back. Poking more damage with the crown. Even scooping up the Galaga along the way. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with uh, how well Curry Chip plays around the um, projectiles of Pac-Man. Oh, oh, bad, bad. Edge guard attempt there from Kirby Kid. Not ready to take the stage there. Not ready to take the stage. Most likely expecting the armor from his snare to come out. Great Doesn't even up. matter though. He's already out of here. That's he did so much for sin. The utilizing the F tilt against like uh, the six master. Oh. <laughs> the trampoline saved his life, dude. Like, using the armor with the with the F tilt. I feel like that's gonna we're gonna slowly like to see that Ensel come out more and more, especially if Six Master continues playing close quarters against Kirby Kid. Oh my god! Kirby Kid, slow down, man. Back air into the up air. Okay. Oh, the crown again coming in clutch for Kirby Kid, throwing off Six Master, but oh my god, what kind of up smash was that? Where did that come from? Uh, hydrant connected onto Kirby Kid's shield, immediately up smashing. It looks like that up smash reached the platform too, because the Six Master had just reset on the platform above Kirby Kid. Alright, maybe call me crazy, but I think K Roll's projectiles are better than Pac Man's in this, the, the way that they work together. Uh, like every time uh, Kirby Kid tries to, or uh, Six Master tries to charge fruit, he gets hit by something. And then the cannonball destroys the hydrogen really easily, and the crown. Like I don't know, this is this is working really well for Kirby Kid. I, I feel. After the buffs, the, it definitely works together uh, better, especially as a kid. So they definitely flow and interact with each other. Oh, 
Yeah, see, he keeps trying to like get started with the projectile, and he just gets caught by the crown over and over. This is a huge leap for Kirby Kid. I like that. Nice. You saw Kirby Kid throwing out a lot of downers at the ledge, but the trampoline, a couple times that it did connect, just end up saving the Six Master. Six Master trying to get off stage, but taking his time. He to get cannot back. get back to center stage, dude. Look at that. He had to go past the ledge just to get to center stage, and Kirby Kid again with yet another drop kick to the face. It's gonna sell out game number two, man. Kirby Kid one game away from being in grand finals. With K rule, very impressive. K rule, this K rule is taking his crown, working his way to his throne. And a lot of people just don't have a high opinion of K rule either. And uh, most people would agree that Pac Man is like top tier in this game. So for Curry Kid to be doing this well. Very, very impressive, in my opinion. Wow. So, are we gonna see a counter pick this time from Six Master? Oh, yeah. We do. Stadium two. Yeah, when you lose two games on the same stage, you, you gotta change it up a little bit, you know. We'll see if it works out though. Curry Kid, uh, showing that he can play on pretty much any stage people take him to. from K-Roll is so scary. It's, it's, it looks like just, every time he hits with it, I'm pretty sure, like, I feel like it should kill. <laughs> it just seems so painful. Yeah, yeah. And can't get hit with a crown like that. Oh man, another drop kick with the forward air from Kirby Kid. Oh my goodness, he just keeps kicking these people over and over, he doesn't care. All right, nice F smash though. Got a little bit of time to charge the fruit. Oh, oh, the wind. Oh, uh, the the wind box actually messed him up there. I didn't even know that could happen. Yeah, but Six Master wasn't able oh to capitalize off that, so it wasn't that big of a mistake. If anything, it was a a learning process. And yet another forward air from Kirby Kid. This guy, I don't know how many stocks he's taking with this drop kick tonight, but it's way too many. Back throwing now, Six Master sniping Kirby Kid with an orange. Oh, that Nair is actually so good because normally when people approach Pac Man when he has a Galaga at the ledge, they just get blown up because he just throws a Galaga at them for a thousand percent. But the armor of the neutral air just went through the Galaga and like it didn't even matter at all. Yeah, now landing a Nair at the ledge. Good ledge trapping from Kirby Kid. Oh my goodness, Kirby Kid is relentless up the ledge right now. Nice tech yet again. Uh, Six Master was looking for a job box setup, but oh my god, not getting anywhere near his K roll right now. Backing up, catching the roll with the crown. Six Master having a lot of difficulty getting off the ledge, getting sent again. Another one, right side. dude. These drop kicks. I need a drop kick counter. <laughs> it's at least at like eight. <laughs> Minimum eight. Again, he's trying to get set up with like these hydrant and like fruit combinations, but they just keep they get negated by Carol's projectiles. It just doesn't seem hard for him to deal with it. enough the, the fruit seem to be going like through the or at least at the moment that they clash like they're still retaining a hitbox for k rule so it's still a danger to k rule yeah but it's just he he can't move forward after he throws the fruit because the uh crown and the cannonball are there yeah curry hit very close to sealing out this game has Max Rage, very strong carries. I'm gonna go for a mash out punish here. Oh, nope, no connecting on the up smash, but yeah, so very mag. close. Master, whoa! Oh my God. Horrible almost. DI, that almost took it. 
Oh, the counter! <laughs> the, the big counter belly! On the side B. Get him out of here. Two stock again for K Rule. Kirby Gibb sitting in Grand Finals of MSM Online with the 3 0. Super, super dominant display there. Very impressive stuff. Gotta say, I have not seen a K Rule this on point in a pretty long time, man. Yeah, and so far in top 22, the only player who's taken a game off Kirby Kid has been Blade when he switched to Roy. Yeah, true. So that's that's something to think about. Whoever whoever's gonna be going up against Kirby Kid in grand finals needs to I don't know, bring some some speed with them or something. 